Hi, my name is Matt Hartman, and I grew up as a pastor's kid. I'm local here from Jenison, and uh, my dad actually planted a church here when I was young, and uh, I, I really grew up kind of just believing I was going to be in heaven. And I don't know if that was necessarily intentional from anybody, but it's just how I perceived it. And uh, as I grew a little bit older, got into middle school and high school, I really started to veer away from faith and the church. And uh, in all honesty, I really just bullnosed into partying and a lot of drinking and really became an alcoholic. I was partying three to five nights a week and uh, yeah, it doesn't take long to start really messing with your life at that point. So after a couple of years of that, um, I uh, ended up getting my first DUI. And you'd think that you'd learn a lesson from that. However, I'm pretty stubborn. So uh, I went back to work, you know, and uh, it wasn't too long after I had a second. So losing a driver's license at that point, you know, I'm married at that point with a couple of kids and ended up in a divorce. As we're going through that whole process, I also became ill and I was in the hospital and everything kind of went bad there. And I actually was in the intensive care for two weeks. As I went through that process of trying to heal from that, the doctors came in and told me, hey, you probably ought to fill out this paperwork because we don't see you living through the night. So at that point, I just kind of looked over at the picture of my kids I had there and I thought, I'm just not done yet. And uh, amazingly, a pastor was kind of walking the halls and saw my name on the list and showed up in my room. And it's really amazing because you go from no hope and having the, the doctors telling you that you aren't going to live through the night to having somebody you have met once or twice in your life, maybe, appear in your room and just want to pray with you. So he sat down and he, he prayed for healing and that I may, you know, find a faith in God. And it really was supernatural because that night my lung reinflated that had collapsed and it was within a week and a half I was home. It's, it's really powerful. The thing is, even at that point, you begin to ask questions of why, what was going on, um, but I still wasn't ready to submit to God. So as uh, I kept going through that process, I, I asking those questions, I referred back to this pastor that had prayed with me. And he actually pointed me to Chapel Point and said, you know, they have a lot of people and programs and ability to serve you in a better way than I can right now. So that's how I ended up back here at Chapel Point. And uh, at that time, Pastor Kevin Matthews was here and I began working with him and mentoring with him. And he started to show me a pathway to grace and heaven and faith that I had never really understood before. So it wasn't too long after that that I gave my life to Christ, was baptized here, became a member. But even then, you're making those strides, you're moving forward, and you're wondering why things still aren't getting better in other areas of your life. And uh, it just wasn't a full submission to Christ. As you start walking those paths and things slowly start to grow in your heart, and you begin to submit, things start to happen. At that point, I was divorced, had my two kids, nothing else really going for me, lost my job, everything. And I was able to meet a nice young lady and ended up marrying her. So now I have a beautiful wife, Kelly. We have another daughter and another one on the way now. So God is faithful uh, on top of that. I am now sober for six and a half years. God is faithful. And uh, one of the things that he's blessed me with this past year was in January, I was able to take a trip to Uganda. And while I was in Uganda, 
I was really challenged to stand up and speak my story. We had many opportunities to do so, and I uh, was able to connect with quite a few people and, and kids there, um, which really encouraged me. And uh, that was mostly in part to, to uh, people at Chapel Point encouraging me to do that before we left also. So when I've come back now, it's really been on my heart to be able to speak and share that message with others. So as a result of that, I have just booked a time to begin speaking in some schools locally, giving my story and testimony. I have also been connected with a pastor's kids ministry in Uganda and have began to do some serving with them through video messages and such for conferences they're putting on there with the intent of hopefully building on that here in the States as well. I really believe that Chapel Point has been sort of a, uh, a farm for me or a, you know, a fertile ground. You know, I feel like Pastor Kevin sort of planted me here and everybody that is here has just sort of been watering me and feeding me and waiting for a harvest. And at this point in time, I believe that's the direction we're heading is to see that fruit. At this point, uh, the largest prayer need that I have in my life is just a real clarity of what God's will is in my life. We've had a lot of doors begin to open for us in the ministries, and I just really need to know and have the Holy Spirit lead me in the direction that I'm supposed to be going.